Well, let me put you in a situation. Another Earth has been discovered, or an object the size of Earth. It's coming towards us, it's going to collide with us, but something special is happening about this collision. It's at the speed of light. So what's going to happen? This is in milliseconds, guys. Milliseconds per second. What would happen if another Earth, or an object the size of Earth, collided with Earth at the speed of light? I've always been curious about this, and with Universe Sandbox 2, I am going to answer that question for you guys and myself. So let's slow down the simulation. How can we slow it down? Oh, wait, look. Wait, look. There's me right there in New Zealand. <laughs> Shit. So, apparently... Okay, let's just say, for fun, parallel universes, well, uh, they're going to glide, and um, either way... People will die on it. Or will they? Because it's parallel. Just kidding with you guys. So it's the light of speed. Object the size of the Earth. A object can't really move the size of the Earth like this. Wait, what? It can't. It can't travel the speed of light. Otherwise, the friction would just, you know, it would destroy it in itself. But let's say physics is completely gone. So it's going to strike the Indian region, and in fact, it's just going to strike the entire planet because, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's the light of speed, and this, let me actually see. Look at this. 0 0.0006 of a second. And it's moving quite fast with that. So the speed of light. Oh bugger. Buying New Zealand. Nice knowing you. Nice knowing the entire human race on this impact. Okay, it's about to impact. And this is going to be huge. Complete destruction, even. Okay. Let's try and slow it down even further, because the impact always goes quick. Okay, that's too slow. Yep, that will do. I want to see it second by second. The less, the less speed you give it, the more accurate. So it's about to collide. Let me just try and get free of this. Here we are. So yeah, it's gonna strike more towards the Indian first. Yeah, India first. Or oh now nah, more Africa. So as soon as it strikes, it seems like Australia's gonna strike on the first part on that earth. Yep, we're seeing a huge dejection of fragments how big is it seven times the moon and it's going 1.5 the speed of light guys so oh wait oh textures have bugged out it's going that quick it's like ha 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 get rid of the bloody textures ha ha okay i wonder if they're gonna load back up so those seem to go around the planet through the crust, so in retrospect if this was to actually- Oh wait, look! Textures have reloaded completely differently. Oh wow, everything's so buggy. <laughs> Sorry about the bugs guys, but it's quite interesting seeing this happen. So if we can speed this up a bit. So it looks like it's frozen. The objects are just like dead in track. Ah, oh, here we are. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, it's created a rotation of each other. It's like it's stalled and now it's the energy's created a complete different rotation like a machine. This way is pushing that way. So, that's like, that's pretty cool though. Seeing this happen. It would be terrifying though. Like anything on the path would be dead. Yep. So, basically you're being crushed being crushed so this one the surf so if I turn on stats again to 6,000 degrees this one is 6,000 degrees it's actually pretty much the same temperature because it's the same environment oh god oh god look at it the bloody hell this is second by second as well so the rotation is getting faster and faster this is 10 seconds per second guys so god I wonder how long it will take for the Earth to sink in. So, there's enough energy to keep it floating on the other Earth. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We don't want to lose you. We don't want to lose you. So, it seems like it is 
Starting to go in. Where is my pen that I was using to slow down the simulation? Oh well, no pen. Just use the buttons. Wow. Wow. Let's pause it actually. Look at this guys. The earth here is a blue... It's hell. My god. Look at all these impacts going on. My god. Let's turn off the stats for a sec. Oh my god. Hot spots. It looks like the sun, another sun is developing. What's the temperature? Oh my god, that's a fragment. 6,000 degrees still. 6,500. Play the simulation again. What about this earth? So they're pretty much still the same. You can see that this earth is sinking into this earth. Oh wow, you can see that they're going both the same way now. That's quite interesting. So the energy has cancelled out and now they're just colliding with each other. Oh my god, look. There's a ring of fragments that's going to go out spinning both ways after the impact guys or maybe they'll be dragged back in oh my god this is destroying the environment we know completely the pacific plate somehow is you know it's surviving wow so that bit's not being affected maybe that's a bug i'd say everything would be affected look at it so many impact craters it's crazy the surf is just that's the one getting sunk in i'm pretty sure that's how it's working um, temperature, it's actually dropping in temperature, quite interesting, quite, quite interesting. Um, let's try and speed up this up a bit more. So, fragments are being pulled out 24-7, which is rather interesting. Oh, okay, wait, wait, I want to try and slow down this again. Why aren't you working? Oh god, it's getting so laggy. Okay, so... This earth, here, if we pause it and turn off our tab, oh my god, it's so laggy, it's caused so much lag, um, it's heated up, finally, the mantle is exposed on that one, and I feel like this earth, what one is going to survive, guys? It's the battle between earths. This definitely has a quicker rotation, so maybe that one's going to, this is like hell, oh my god, oh my god, wait. How is it visible from other planets? Let's have a look. Where are other planets, guys? Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Turn on now. How is it viewable from other planets, this impact? I'd say this... In it, wow. I was about to say, has it had an impact on Venus? It's, it can't do. Not yet. So it looks like a bright star not as bright as our sun but quite bright quite bright for the night sky in venus's perspective and what what's the velocity going at the velocity oh wow so the impact the one that impacted the earth survived um unfortunately the entire human race and anything on it is dead what happens over time i want to see if i can return to its neutral environment i mean i doubt it i pretty much doubt it wait what's the yeah 1.7 times the earth all these fragments are gases guys we don't have to worry about that in the way of other planets though maybe they do i'm gonna say that this has completely changed the earth's environment i mean nothing nothing it's actually burning off pretty quickly um, nothing could survive a collision like this. Nothing. I mean, the speed of light. That's a lot of energy. I'd say that it would make a burst of energy. Maybe like a earthquake around the entire space region. Not like an earthquake, but you know, a shockwave. Shockwave, that's it. That's what I meant. So, 800 degrees. Oh, please don't say somehow. It that would be a bug if there's no way it can change back to its old environment. No way in hell. No way in hell. Oh, apparently there's some lights on. Holy god, guys. I'm expecting it to actually eject. Oh, wow. It's altered. Definitely altered. The... Oh, wow. It's actually a black planet now. Why? Why is it so dark here? Oh, wait. We've got water back. We've got water back. Yep. So, as expected, it... We do not see the return of any of our foreign country friends. Sorry, dudes. No hope for you guys. 
No hope for anyone. Oh, wait. It looks... Wait, 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 wait. Guys, this... I know this seems silly, but I feel like I, this looks like kind of like New Zealand. I mean, it's hard to tell, but you can see the shape in, of New Zealand, like Nelson's there, North Island, uh, United States. Shit, shit. There are some remnants of our countries. Shit face, my galore. This is Russia, obviously. Well, I'm so confused. That looks like America. That kind of looks like America. My God. And that... Yeah. I'd say some... Some places did survive. My God, that is amazing. To see that... Something like that could... There could be remainants. Basically. My God. What's the likelihood of life? Let's have a look... There should be a section. Where are you? Usually there is a section to see if life can... Yeah, likely a little of life. 18% right now. So... Yeah! It should increase over time. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait a second. What the hell just happened? Did you guys just see that? Was that a bug or was that just me? I don't know. Maybe it was an outburst of energy. Maybe with a light year bloody impact, it can completely destroy physics as it, what it used to be. So basically, I think what happened, that is definitely New Zealand. I love it. Um, when a light year impact happens, there's enough energy in the core that every now and then it creates a huge explosion inside itself which heats up the entire planet. That's what that orange is happening every now and then. The likelihood of life, 19% still. Actually, what is Earth's normal likelihood of life? Let me pause it and let me quickly place a Earth here. 99.5%. So 18.9 after an impact like this is pretty good. It's only 2020, and we can see that. Oh, wow. It's actually, believe it or not, stretched out a few other orbits. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Quite interesting, really. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe for more content. Twitter and Instagram links in the description. Remember to check out the Identity Crisis series that I am working on. It is a very emotional series at the moment. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.